picking up where we left off, now that we have our file set up, let's talk a little bit more about tolerances and navigation and all kind of the pre-flight checks you want to do before we're going to get going in Rhino. Now, the Rhino window is organized with a navigation icon up here in the left-hand corner. And if I right-click on that, you'll see there's all sorts of information in here. The first thing that we want to look at is the set view. And this is for maximized viewports. So say, for instance, if I want to go to the right view, I just click that. If I want to go to the left view, I just click that. Or if I want a four view, I can just type four in the command line and it'll bring me back to a four view. I can also double click or double click and that puts me right back into the four view. So we imported an image plane and we set it up by layers and we can turn it on and off. And we want to make sure that this file is set up in a way that makes sense. Now this toy is about five inches long and being at five inches long, we can generally assume that it's not going to have any tiny, tiny, tiny elements to it. So we can pretty much go through here and set our options accordingly. So I'm going to go tools options, I'm going to go to units. We set our units to 0.01 and this may be a little bit loose if this were to have a texture on the grill or some sort of really tiny element. This tolerance may be a little loose. You can always just add one more zero here if you need and be safe, but I'm pretty comfortable this model doesn't have any really, really microscopic elements to it. So I'm going to go with 0.01, and the reason for that is it makes all of the joining operations and Boolean operations and trim operations and everything go much faster. Now, if we start having problems down the line, we can adjust this to accommodate, but for right now, I'm going to just go with 0.01. So once we verify that we have everything all set up here, we're going to just go ahead and say OK. And this puts us in a position where we're pretty much ready to start modeling. So let's talk a little bit about navigation. In Rhino to rotate, if you just right click and drag, you're going to be able to rotate around the model. On my mouse, I have a scroll wheel and I can use that to zoom in or out. I can also hold down the shift key and right mouse click to pan or I can hold down control and use the right mouse button to zoom in around. So all of the navigation is focused on the right mouse button and the scroll wheel. Right mouse click to rotate, control, right mouse to zoom, shift, right mouse to pan. You'll notice in Rhino 5 also there's tabs on the bottom of these windows and each one corresponds with the window that's active. So in this case, the perspective window is active. I can click to the top view. I can click to the front view. I can click to the right view, or I can add my own. I don't use these very much personally, but they are convenient and a lot of users tend to use those. I tend to do my navigation through hotkeys, and we'll talk about setting up hotkeys in the next video.